Hello everybody, this is Jason312. I recently bought a new game called Kerbal Space Program. Of course, you can see it on the screen right now. The Developer Squad, and of course, uh, they did a really good job developing this game. <clears throat> if many of you, if you've been playing Minecraft or watching Minecraft videos, you can uh, kind of understand the idea behind this game. First of all, you have missions that you have to complete. Secondly, they don't tell you how to do it. They just give you bits and pe do the parts you need to build your ships or aircraft, and you have to figure out how to complete the missions without uh, a direct guide or linear path like uh, most games today have. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this game. Start new. All right. Before I go any further, I want to talk about this screen real quick. We have, there are three game modes: science, sandbox, and career. Sandbox gives you access to everything. All your buildings are at their max level. All your parts are unlocked. You can just build and build and build and then blow things up and build some more. Um, science, you're pretty. You, I haven't played with that mode too much, but from the way it sounds to me, and what I'll do to confirm it is I'll probably play it a little bit and figure out how it works, but from what it sounds like without playing it, it sounds like you start off with your basic rocketry systems, and then you have to earn science in order to unlock more parts. And then of course career, you have to get both funds and science in order to progress in the game. So we're, for this playthrough, we're going to play in career. I'm going to change my flag real quick. And I like... Let's see. Hmm. Why not? We'll go with capsule. And um, we'll leave it on normal. Uh... You can change the difficulties to a custom level and uh, give yourself starting sti science, starting reputation, increase your starting funds, etc, etc. So you can make it as easy or as hard as you want. We're going to leave everything as it is for now because th this will get pretty difficult by itself. Okay, so we'll start. And, yep, we'll overwrite it. Okay, so starting out, we've got Gene Kerman telling us how we can use the arrow keys to move around, or we can right-click. And then we can right-click over, right -click over the Space Center facilities to learn more about them, and left-click when ready to head inside. And that's all he's got to say for that one. Now, you, when you first enter here, you got multiple buildings. You have your tracking station here, your vehicle assembly building, your mission control, space plane hangar, astronaut complex, administration, and research and development buildings. The 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 main buildings we'll be using for the for this uh, video will be the vehicle assembly building and the mission control. Mission and control is important for a career playthrough because this is how you're going to make most of your money. He will uh, Gene Kerman's here again, and what he he gives us a list of uh, contracts that we can complete. For example, we're going to go ahead and try to launch our first vessel. Come on, accept that. Thank you. And then, now we're going to look at this one. Gather scientific data from Kerbin. Recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Okay, doesn't sound too hard. Okay. And now we're going to make our first vessel. Okay, welcome to the vehicle assembly building. And this is where you build your rockets. Or space stations. But we'll get into that later. 
So for <clears throat> for starters, you have to have a capsule or some kind of control pod, either the uh, drones or a actual capsule command pod. Reason being, you can't control your ship without one. You'll just fly around and have no control over it. Uh, we'll do some fins, not that they're necessary. Just for fun. And of course we need a parachute. Because somebody's going to be in this thing and we do not want them to die on impact. Break that deck down to two. For the record, there's different symmetry modes. You can click on this button here that I have my mouse over and it will increase or decrease depending on which button you click. Left click increases, right, uh, right click decreases. You can also use your X key. Pushing X by itself increases, holding shift and X decreases. And of course if you're at uh, one symmetry mode, if you hold shift and X or right click on it, it will give you more symmetry options than, uh, actually, yeah, gives you a symmetry mode of eight, six, four, three, two, one. Anyway. Anyway, so I added some uh, mystery goo containers to the top of the capsule here. The reason being is anytime we launch a rocket or a space plane, we want to try to bring back as much science as possible because science is what's going to allow us to unlock more parts and build bigger and better spacecraft. So I have two on here and I'll show you why in a minute. And for this mission, we're going to be given Jebediah Kerman. Okay, so back to parts. Now, something important to note. Uh, the, the, your staging. It's important you do your staging correctly because with the way this is set up, the parachute will deploy and the rocket will fire. And you'll just fly around in a big circle all over the place. Because your parachute's trying to stop you and your engine's trying to make you go. So, it's hilarious, but make sure you fix your staging <laughs> so that you don't have an issue like that. So, anyway, now we're going to launch our first vessel. Give it a minute to load. Okay, you loaded? Alright, good. Okay, so first and foremost, we need to do our contract for gathering science on Kerbin. So we're going to right click on the command pod and click crew report. Now we can keep that data. And before we launch, it's important to note you can EVA, get an EVA report, and then store and take experiments out of your crew pod, your command pod. Now the reason why that's important is because you can do another crew report now that you have cleared the, ori the, crew, the original crew report you got out of the command pod. See? Now we can do it again. But we're not going to keep that. We're just going to launch after we do this. So get mystery goo. Keep that data. And collect that data. And store. And board. Okay. Now we can launch. Now this engine here is a solid fuel engine. Once you push your launch button, you're not going to stop. Changing your throttle does nothing. So, just keep that in mind. this crew report grab this mystery goose since we're flying we're in a different biome 
Something blew up. What blew up? Or was that the flame out? Okay. 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 Guess it's not my issue. Sorry about that. I'm actually playing this in uh, window mode, so anytime my mouse gets to the edge of the screen, it does some really wonky stuff. I do apologize, guys. Okay, let's increase this because we have no reason to sit here and wait. Whee! Back down to earth we go. Laughing all the way. Deploy the parachute. You gonna catch? Are, are, are you gonna catch? Are, are you? Are you? Are... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Had me worried for a minute there. And now we can time accelerate again. Um, I do need to caution you, everyone, on this because, like you just saw there, time acceleration can destroy things. Like, for example, it just destroyed my fins. So, just keep that in mind. We're gonna go ahead and EVA because we're in another area. Get an EVA report. Drop that. Board. Oh, okay. Dump experiment. Whatever. All right. So recover the vessel. Now, from our first vessel launch, we got twenty-five point six science, and we have earned additional funds. We're now at eleven, uh, one hundred and eleven thousand. And Jebediah Kerman gained some experience. And then here's the gather scientific data from Kerbin completion and launch our first vessel completion. And then a bunch of world records. Or first accomplishments. Which other which other which Whichever way you want to think about it. So, uh, sorry, I can't talk today. Talking is going to be my downfall today, obviously. Okay. Alright, so now that we've launched our first vessel, we have unlocked more contracts. Mm. Test the flea solid fuel booster orbiting curbing. Don't know how I feel about doing that one just yet. I can I can test the decoupler at the launch site, so let's do that one. Okay, so these I can probably mm -hmm, mm -hmm. below, below, above. So this one will be a little bit of a challenge because we don't have the aviation parts for it yet. But I can probably do these two once I get my new parts from the research and development. So, okay. We'll leave that alone for now. Let's go ahead and test this stack decoupler. Come on, let go. Thank you. And, um, yeah, we'll do this. This actually would work out pretty well. Not really. It could probably end, dis end in disaster. It's usually how my luck goes. So, uh, not activate to couple. Enable crossfeed. Hmm. Really? You're not going to give me that contract even... You know what? I probably did it wrong. 
That's just my luck. I probably did it wrong. Recover. Okay, let's try this again. Except this time, I'm not putting an engine on there. Take that off. Take it off. There we go. This will be hilarious. There we go. Okay, now I got it. Had to use the space bar. Could not use the right click method. Recover. Okay. Now I don't need to save this one just yet. Okay. I need to go to R&D. And get some stuff. Some parts. Let's do Engineering 101. That gives me the Stack Decoupler. And the Science Junior, which allows us to get more science. This will give us our first liquid fuel engine and liquid fuel tank. As well as a better solid fuel booster. And we have just enough science to get one of these other branches. Now, I don't know if I want survivability or if I want general rocketry. Survivability would probably be better because it gives me the heat shield. But at the same time, I can... Hmm. I gotta think about that one. So we'll come back to it. For the moment, we'll go ahead and get our science. Okay, so take off the decoupler. I need my liquid fuel tank. Back up. Okay. Ah! Not where I wanted you! There we go. Okay, get fins, 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 fins. Okay, we'll do rip, angle snap. It's just easier to work with. Oh, we get on there. There we go. And that's the Reliant. Right, yep, okay. Take that off. Go to science. I need the science junior. Might as well get a couple of antennas. Make it look like a Martian. Okay, there we go. And for this one, we will take Bob Kerman because he's a scientist. And scientists have this unique ability to reset experiments that you have ran. Okay, so we get our antenna, we get the liquid fuel, our staging, look, staging looks good. Alright, let's launch. And we will fly over water. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Okay, now with the liquid fuel engines you can use your throttle and Z or yeah the Z key will put your throttle to max X will turn your throttle down completely to zero shift increases control decreases so just so you guys are aware so we're going to launch with about there we go so we don't need to go very fast Oh, and I made a mistake. I did not observe the materials bay while I was landed at Kerbin. Keep that data. Decrease that, because I'm going a little fast. And I'm going the wrong way. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, 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 oh. Little turns, little turns, there we go. Now we're gonna go this way. Yeah. 
and now we're just gonna kind of like float here, apparently. So mystery goo, crew report, and I would do an EVA, but that'd actually be kind of dangerous right now. And I also need to upgrade my astronaut complex before I can actually do an EVA up this high. Not that I want to anyway. Kerbals have a bad tendency to just plummet straight to Kerbin. At least as long as with your, you're within the atmosphere. Once you're out of the atmosphere, that's a whole nother, whole nother story. We are slowly rotating. Very, very slowly. Let's actually look at this. What's my Apple apps at? Oh, I don't actually. I'm not actually going to get any new biomes. Okay. Let's actually turn around here because I don't want to. There we go. And we'll just fall. Hopefully. Straight down. Not straight down, but at an angle. Into the water. Okay, we're gonna accelerate just a little bit. We are falling at a weird angle. We are pointed straight, almost straight up. This is not going to end disastrous at all. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying about the uh, time acceleration, uh, if you are not in orbit, the physics of time acceleration on Kerbin or any of the other planets can sometimes result in disastrous events. So be careful if you are using time acceleration. And we're still falling. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. Can't deploy my chute just yet. Now I can. Deploy! It's kind of funny how I'm like, I'm coming down parallel with the water. It's actually kind of cool. And now I'm going to be doing weird flips and tumbles. For the record, I'm not even touching the controls. I'm just letting the ship do what it wants to do. Alright, let's increase the, the speed here. Cause time is of the essence here. And down we go. Stop. Oh, please stop, please. Remember what I said about the time acceleration? This is what happens. This is why you should be careful. Don't be silly like me. So, but anyway guys, um, I will reattempt this launch in another video. I am actually out of time right now, so... If you like this video, please click that like button down below. If you enjoy the content I put out for you guys, Please subscribe to my channel. There will be much, much more. And above all, guys, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.